other things, Pickett doesn't have top end speed or agility. So Pickett stares down receivers, what we complain Jalen Hurts do, does. He can't throw guys open, which we complain Jalen Hurts can't. And he's not active or mobile. The biggest selling point for Jalen Hurts. So he got the negatives that Jalen Hurts has, but he doesn't have the biggest positive that Jalen Hurts has, which is mobility. So in my mind, why are we going to get this man picky when we got to upgrade a picky, which is Jalen Hurts? Yeah, yeah. What's up? What's happening? What's popping? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another great episode of Smell with the Spizzards. I'm just going to bring out a daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're over here, you haven't already subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you stop what you're doing. Leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first link is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel that you love so much. The second link is to shop the official small with the Spizz or a merch collection. Get you the classic tea, the wavy tea that I've been rocking lately. Or the brand new Jay the Maker Hurts tea. Well, ain't brand new no more, but you know. And the last link is to subscribe to our podcast, Tough Calls, where me and Dylan have some of your favorite sports analysts, reporters, former and current athletes. Chop it up with us on the pod. Also, turn notification bells on because the videos are coming like boom, 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 boom and you don't want a single video or a single live stream. Y'all, let's jump right into this topic today. We're talking about some Philadelphia Eagles news. So the Eagles are on a bye week right now while those guys are resting up. We have some other things to talk about. So it came out yesterday that Kenny Pickett, starting quarterback for Pitt and also 2021 Heisman Trophy finalist, is a Philadelphia Eagles fan. Now, it's not surprising that he's an Eagles fan and in his words, a big Eagles fan. Now, he's saying he grew up a big Eagles fan. That could have changed. But that's not surprising because he plays for Pittsburgh. He's from the area. He said he's only an hour and a half. He grew up only an hour and a half from the link. So, of course, he was an Eagles fan growing up. So, let me read the quote from his interview on the Dan Patrick show. So, Dan said, who was your favorite quarterback growing up? Kenny Pickett said, Donovan McNabb. I was a big Eagles fan. So, he might not even still be an Eagles fan because he said, I was a big Eagles fan. So, Dan Patrick said, did you meet him? He said, I met him once at a kind of fanfare. I got some pics. I was like six or seven. It was back in the day. Dan Patrick said, do you remember what it was like, that feeling? Kenny said, I do. I was a huge Eagles fan. I used to go to the games with my dad all the time. It took like an hour and a half from my house. We grew up and we grew up big Eagles fans. So his family is our Eagles fans. That one famous game against Green Bay and Brett Favre, I was at that game back in, I think, 2005 maybe. So yeah, it was way back. So Dan Patrick asked him, he says, the Eagles have three first round picks there, Kenny. Kenny Pickett said, they do, they do. He said it twice, they do. Now, Kenny Pickett being an Eagles fan, of course, he plays football at Pitt um, in state. He grew up an hour and a half from the Eagles. So he says his family is an Eagles fan. Um, does that mean I still want to use a first round pick on Kenny Pickett? That would be a no. A big fat no. Now, I wouldn't mind drafting Kenny Pickett at some point, but our three first round picks don't need to go. None of those three first round picks need to go to quarterback because none of those quarterbacks, including Kenny Pickett, are giving better than Gardner Minshew or Jalen Hurts. So if we're drafting a quarterback, it needs to be somebody that's starter ready and already more developed than and more consistent than Gardner and Jalen. And none of those guys that are projected to be first round picks or the top quarterbacks in the draft are given any um, indication that they're going to be better than more developed than Jalen Hurts and Gardner Minshew are right now. So no. Now I'm going to get into Kenny Pickett's draft and scouting report in just one minute, but I do want to say. We do need to acquire a quarterback in this offseason. We do. We don't have a veteran in the quarterback room. Just like I keep saying about the wide receiver room, the same applies to the quarterback room. We do not have a veteran in the quarterback room. But key word on veteran. Whether we draft a quarterback late or draft a quarterback early, we still need to sign a veteran to this team. The quarterback room will benefit greatly from having a veteran in the room. Every quarterback room needs a veteran in it. Every room needs a veteran in it. And Jalen Hurts or Gardner Minshew or whoever we bring in at quarterback needs to have a veteran in the room to look up to, to get tips from, to learn from. So no matter what moves we make in the draft, what trades we make, whatever, we need to have a veteran in that quarterback room. Per. Okay? 
Now, let me go on and read Kenny Pickett's scouting report. So, I'm going to start off with his weaknesses. And it's not me being a hater. I'm just letting you guys know that this guy, Kenny Pickett, ain't no better than what we already got with Jalen and or Gardner Minshew. So, let me start. Areas for improvement. While Pickett has an array of positive physical and mental traits, there's general volatility in his game that must be ironed out. Mechanically, he is largely solid. He sometimes fades backward and throws off his back foot, causing passes to drop. Pickett's fearlessness, while appealing, can sometimes be a double-edged sword. He takes many risks that he shouldn't entertain. In the pocket, his desire to stand tough and keep his eyes ahead can lead to negative plays. Also, he doesn't feel pressure, pressure up the middle well as a passer. His daring style can lead to opportunities for the defense, which means turnovers. Several operational flaws contribute to this as well. Pickett sometimes stares down his targets. Now, don't that sound like Jalen Hurts? Don't y'all be complaining about Jalen Hurts for staring down targets? Keeping an eye, keying in defenders too close on the ball, he could more consistently use his eyes to deceive. He can, he, Pickett sometimes stares down his targets, keying in de defenders too close on the ball. He could more consistently use his eyes to deceive defenders. Don't y'all say that about Jalen Hurts. Furthermore, he's sometimes late to pull the trigger when receivers break. Now, who that sound like? Additionally, Pickett's precision and ball placement can improve. He sometimes misses high when trying to force the ball ahead. While he has the capacity to adjust his ball placement, he must be more consistent there. He doesn't always throw his receivers open. Is now what I said Jalen Hurts need to do? And he needs to work off leverage more effectively. Among other things, Pickett doesn't have top end speed or agility. So Pickett stares down receivers, what we complain Jalen Hurts do, does. He can't throw guys open, which we complain Jalen Hurts can't. And he's not active or mobile, the biggest selling point for Jalen Hurts. So he got the negatives that Jalen Hurts has, but he doesn't have the biggest positive that Jalen Hurts has, which is mobility. So in my mind, why are we going to get this man Pickett when we got to upgrade a Pickett, which is Jalen Hurts? Even if he is a good athlete, additionally, the pit offense employs a lot of quick throws, sometimes limiting Pickett's progression work. So, my only thing is, this guy Pickett, keep cheering on the birds. I like that. You can keep being a fan, but he's no better than what we already have in the quarterback room, y'all. So, why are we bringing another young project when we need to be bringing in a veteran or a proven guy? That's just my two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cents. You know what I'm saying? Ten cents. A dot. You know what I'm saying? A dot. So, pick it. Glad you're an Eagles fan. Keep rooting for the birds. You know what I'm saying? We can use all the fans, but he not giving no we need to spend a first round of early pick on. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. Buy me that coffee. Subscribe to the podcast. Turn your notification bells on. And so I'll talk to you guys next time.